In recent years, Ghana has made gigantic strides in establishing the country as one of the top economies in West Africa. Ghana has adopted a comprehensive development strategy, focusing on economic diversification, infrastructure development, and human capital development. Foreign investment has been drawn to the country due to its stable political environment and pro-business laws, particularly in the oil and gas sector. The discovery of significant offshore oil deposits has boosted Ghana's economic growth, resulting in more revenue for infrastructure development and poverty reduction efforts. Furthermore, Ghana's dedication to enhancing education and healthcare has had a significant impact on human development metrics. The country has made significant progress in terms of poverty reduction, access to quality education, and healthcare service expansion. Investments in technology and innovation have supported a thriving startup ecosystem, establishing Ghana as an African hotspot for tech entrepreneurship. Ghana is well positioned to maintain its exceptional economic trajectory and improve the well being of its inhabitants as it continues to invest in infrastructure, education, and healthcare. In this video, we are going to explore 25 of the grandest projects in Ghana, but first, please take a second to hit the like button and subscribe so more people can see this. 25. The Ghana Free Zones Development Program. The Ghana Free Zones Development Program is a key program aimed at encouraging economic growth and attracting foreign direct investment through the establishment of special economic zones in which enterprises can operate under favorable terms. These zones are intended to boost industrialization, job development, and products and services exports. The program is critical to the government's aim to diversify the economy, reduce reliance on traditional sectors, and attract both domestic and foreign investment in a variety of industries. Businesses operating within these zones benefit from a variety of benefits under the Free Zones Development Program, including tax rebates, customs duty exemptions, and streamlined administrative procedures. This favorable economic environment encourages both domestic and foreign firms to establish and develop operations in Ghana. The program's strategic location near key transportation hubs, ports, and industrial clusters adds to its attraction to investors. Ghana has developed an atmosphere conducive to industrialization, manufacturing, and trade by fostering such zones. This effort demonstrates the country's commitment to economic diversification, job creation, and attracting international investment in order to accelerate its economic development. It also boosts Ghana's status as a desirable investment destination in West Africa. 24. Ghana's National Broadband Network, NBN Ghana's National Broadband Network plan is a watershed moment in the country's pursuit for a more technologically inclusive and economically vibrant future. The NBN solves a vital need in the modern world, where reliable connectivity is essential for business, education, healthcare, and general communication by delivering high-speed internet access to all Ghanaians. The decision to develop a fiber optic network connecting households, businesses, and government buildings demonstrates the administration's commitment to improving the nation's digital infrastructure. The NBN is projected to have a significant influence on the Ghanaian economy. It has the potential to boost productivity by allowing for more effective communication and data transfer, allowing firms to compete on a global scale. Improved infrastructure has the potential to attract new enterprises to Ghana, promoting economic growth and job creation. Furthermore, the NBN can bridge the digital divide by putting underserved and rural communities online, ensuring that educational and healthcare resources are available to everybody. In essence, the NBN is a game-changing project that fits into a larger worldwide trend of investing in digital infrastructure to promote socioeconomic development. 23. The Toyota Ghana Assembly Plant The Toyota Ghana Assembly Plant is a significant economic development in the West African area, indicating Ghana's commitment to growing the country's automotive sector and improving its manufacturing capabilities. The Greater Accra Region facility is a joint venture between Toyota Social Corporation and Toyota Group, representing a significant investment in Ghana's burgeoning automotive sector. It contributes significantly to the country's overall economic development by creating job opportunities, spurring technological improvement, and reducing reliance on vehicle imports. 
The Toyota Ghana Assembly Plant assembles a variety of Toyota automobiles, encouraging local production and minimizing imports of fully completed vehicles. This not only benefits Ghana's trade balance, but also makes vehicles more accessible to the local market. The factory supports the government's goals of fostering industrialization and manufacturing capabilities while promoting foreign investment in the country. Furthermore, the existence of this assembly factory offers important chances for skill development, technical training, and knowledge transfer, all of which contribute to the progress of Ghana's workforce and local technological capabilities. The Toyota Ghana Assembly Plant demonstrates the country's commitment to economic diversification, job creation, and the expansion of the automotive sector, bolstering the country's position as a regional industrial hub and supporting economic development. 22. The Volkswagen Ghana Assembly Plant The Volkswagen Ghana Assembly Plant is an important economic development in West Africa, demonstrating the country's attempts to strengthen its automotive industry and enhance manufacturing capabilities. The plant, which is located in Accra's North Industrial Area, is part of Volkswagen's global ambition to grow its footprint in emerging countries and promote sustainable mobility solutions. It represents a significant investment in Ghana's automotive sector, with the purpose of providing job opportunities, transferring technology, and reducing dependency on vehicle imports. Volkswagen vehicles such as the Tiguan, Amarok, and Passat are manufactured at the assembly facility. This local assembly not only promotes the government's Ghana automotive development policy, but it also helps the country's trade balance by lowering fully completed car imports. Furthermore, the Volkswagen Ghana assembly plant is an important driver of skill development and technical training in the automotive industry, boosting the knowledge and capacities of the local workforce. The existence of this assembly factory reinforces Ghana's position as an industrial hub in West Africa, promoting economic development, technological advancement, and job creation. It illustrates the country's dedication to industrialization, innovation, and car manufacture as critical pillars of long-term economic prosperity. 21. The Etwabo Gas Processing Plant Expansion The Etwabo Gas Processing Plant Expansion is a large industrial project in Ghana's western region that aims to improve the country's natural gas infrastructure and support the country's developing energy sector. The first Atuabo gas processing plant was built as part of Ghana's gas commercialization program, and it was critical in processing natural gas from the offshore Tano Basin. The expansion of this facility demonstrates Ghana's commitment to utilizing domestic energy resources and reducing dependency on imported fuels, thereby fostering energy security and economic progress. The Atuabo gas processing plant expansion includes the installation of new gas processing units compression facilities, and pipeline infrastructure. These upgrades are important to enhancing the plant's capacity to process additional natural gas from offshore fields and efficiently distribute it for electricity generation and industrial use. The expansion project is consistent with Ghana's aspirations for energy diversification and its desire to capitalize on its large natural gas reserves for economic development. It is critical for lowering energy prices, improving energy reliability, and promoting industrial growth. Furthermore, the expansion demonstrates Ghana's dedication to becoming a regional energy hub, attracting investments, providing job opportunities, and contributing to the country's economic development and energy independence. 20. The Tema LNG Terminal the Tema LNG Terminal is an important infrastructure project in Ghana, ideally placed along the Gulf of Guinea in the Tema port area. This terminal is crucial to the country's attempts to diversify its energy mix, reduce reliance on traditional fuels, and encourage cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. The terminal aids in the import, storage, and regasification of liquefied natural gas, a cleaner and more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional fossil fuels. This strategic location allows for quick access to natural gas, which is required for a variety of industries such as power generation, industrial operations, and transportation. The Tema Elangji terminal includes crucial infrastructure including as storage tanks, regasification units, and loading facilities to securely and efficiently handle LNG. The plant has a significant impact on Ghana's energy sector, 
aiding the government's objectives to cut energy costs, minimize environmental impact, and offer citizens with a more stable and resilient energy supply. The terminal improves Ghana's energy security and promotes industrial growth, demonstrating the country's commitment to moving to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources as part of its overall development strategy. Furthermore, by making LNG more accessible, the Tema LNG terminal helps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and fits with global efforts to address climate change while promoting economic development. 19. Apollonia City Industrial Park Apollonia City Industrial Park is a significant and transformational industrial development in Ghana's greater Accra region. This industrial park is a component of Apollonia City, a mixed-use urban development project. The park is conveniently located around 20 kilometers from Accra, Ghana's capital, making it an appealing hub for industrial and commercial activity. The Apollonia City Industrial Park is intended to help diverse industries and enterprises in the region grow and expand. It offers a well-planned and well-equipped environment for manufacturing, shipping, warehousing, and other industrial processes. The park provides enterprises with dependable access to important industrial services, such as power, water, and transportation. It also has sophisticated warehouses, offices, and commercial spaces, making it a one-stop shop for enterprises wishing to begin or grow their activities in Ghana. The creation of such industrial parks contributes to regional economic growth by attracting investments, providing jobs, and encouraging innovation and commerce. Apollonia City Industrial Park is also important in aiding Ghana's industrialization initiatives and assisting the government in meeting its economic development objectives. It fosters both local and international investment by offering a well-planned and infrastructure-ready environment for industrial and commercial firms. 18. The Kumasi Market Redevelopment Project the Kumasi Market Redevelopment Project is a major urban development program in Ghana, focusing on Kumasi, the capital of the Ashanti region. The project aims to renovate and modernize the city's marketplaces, with a special emphasis on the Kajetian Market, one of West Africa's major open-air markets. This rebuilding program is part of Ghana's larger urban development strategy, which focuses on improving infrastructure, boosting economic growth, and creating a more suitable environment for commerce and trade. The Kumasi Market Redevelopment Project entails the construction of new market structures, stalls, and related infrastructure, such as parking lots and pedestrian walkways. These improvements are intended to make the market a safer, cleaner, and more organized environment, consequently improving trade conditions for both vendors and customers. The project recognizes the importance of Kajisha Market as an important economic hub for Kumasi and the Ashanti region, and the redevelopment serves as a symbol of Ghana's commitment to fostering sustainable urban development and supporting its residents' economic well-being. Furthermore, the initiative is consistent with broader national goals of promoting economic growth and job creation through infrastructure investment and urban revitalization. It also helps to advance local trade and commerce, which is important for both the informal and formal sectors, and thus contributes to the nation's economic development. 17. The Bui Hydroelectric Power Plant Expansion The Bui Hydroelectric Power Plant Expansion is a major energy infrastructure project in Ghana that builds on the existing Bui Dam and hydroelectric power station. This expansion project, located on the Black Volta River in the Bonner region, is critical to the country's attempts to increase energy production capacity and encourage sustainable electricity generation. The Boy Hydroelectric Power Plant was completed in 2013 and has since played an important role in powering the national grid. The project aims to capitalize on the potential for greater power output in order to fulfill Ghana's expanding energy needs while reducing the country's reliance on fossil fuels. The Bui Hydroelectric Power Plant is being expanded with the addition of new generating units, turbines, and associated infrastructure. This project greatly increases the power output of the plant, allowing it to send more electricity to the grid, which is critical for meeting home, commercial, and industrial demands. Ghana's participation to the expansion project indicates its commitment to renewable and sustainable energy sources, which will help to reduce carbon emissions and conserve the environment.
Furthermore, this program is an important step toward increasing energy self-sufficiency, job creation, and regional economic development. The Bui Hydroelectric Power Plant expansion exemplifies Ghana's forward-thinking approach to energy generation, recognizing the value of clean and reliable power in driving economic progress and improving citizens' general well-being. 16. The Pualugu Multipropose Dam The Pualugu Multipropose Dam in Ghana's Upper East Region is a revolutionary water resource project. It represents a huge investment in the country's water management, electricity generation, and agricultural development. The dam is part of a multi-pronged project to address some of Ghana's most serious issues, such as seasonal flooding, restricted irrigation capacity, and insufficient electrical supply. The Pualugu Multipurpose Dam project entails the construction of a huge reservoir capable of storing water during the rainy season and releasing it for a variety of uses during the dry season. This permits controlled irrigation for agriculture, assisting local farmers in increasing crop yields and decreasing reliance on rain-fed agriculture. The dam will also include a hydroelectric power component, which will contribute to Ghana's energy needs. Furthermore, the dam project will serve to reduce the risk of seasonal floods in northern regions, protecting communities and infrastructure that have historically been exposed to flooding. The Pualugu Multipropose Dam exemplifies Ghana's commitment to sustainable water management, agricultural and energy generation, all of which are critical to the country's economic progress and citizens' well-being. 15. The Jamestown Revamp Project the Jamestown Revamp Project is a game-changing urban revitalization endeavor in Accra, Ghana's capital city. This project is centered on the historic Jamestown neighborhood, which is rich in cultural and historical significance. The project's major purpose is to rejuvenate and modernize the area while conserving its rich legacy and architectural character. It is part of a larger urban rehabilitation program aiming at improving residents' living circumstances and increasing tourism and economic prospects in the area. The Jamestown Revamp Project includes a wide range of changes, such as historic building restoration, modern infrastructure construction, and public space renovation. This effort is critical for improving inhabitants' general quality of life, boosting economic growth, and making Jamestown a more appealing tourist and business destination. The initiative demonstrates Ghana's dedication to cultural heritage preservation while also encouraging sustainable urban development, job creation, and economic progress. It is also a substantial investment in the country's tourist economy, as the refurbished Jamestown area is intended to become a cultural and historical focus, attracting visitors from all over the world. 14. The Keda Port Development the Kana Port development is a critical infrastructure project in Ghana that focuses on the construction of a new port facility in the Volta region town of Kida. This development project is critical to Ghana's economic growth and trade facilitation, since it aims to improve the country's maritime transportation capacity and create a gateway to foreign markets. Kida Port is strategically located in the Gulf of Guinea, making it a vital hub for maritime trade and logistics. The Kata Port development includes the construction of berths, cargo handling facilities, and storage areas, among other things. The project's goal is to expand the port's capacity to handle larger vessels, making it more efficient for shipping and transit of products. Furthermore, it coincides with the government's objective to fostering regional development and expanding the transportation network in the Volta region to assist industrial expansion, trade, and job creation. The Keda Port development exemplifies Ghana's strategic strategy to improving its maritime infrastructure, allowing international trade, and supporting regional economic development. It demonstrates Ghana's commitment to modernizing its ports in order to fulfill the demands of a rising economy and position the country as a significant player in regional trade and logistics. 13. The Tamale Airport Expansion the Tamale Airport expansion is an important development project in Ghana's northern region that aims to improve the Tamale Airport's infrastructure and services. This initiative is an important step forward in the government's efforts to boost regional connectivity and economic development in the country's north. Tamale Airport has evolved into an important transportation hub, 
and its expansion is critical to enabling rising passenger traffic, cargo services, and encouraging the region's economic development. The project entails the construction of a new terminal building, more aircraft apron space, and other modern facilities that will not only improve the passenger experience, but also encourage economic activity. This development is crucial for recruiting investors, enhancing tourism, and enabling the transfer of products to and from the region as the principal airport serving the northern region. It demonstrates Ghana's dedication to regional development, job growth, and enhanced transportation services. The Tamale Airport Expansion Project demonstrates the government's commitment to developing transportation infrastructure to support regional growth and connectivity, as well as to create opportunities for trade and investment in the northern region and to stimulate economic development. 12. The Cape Coast Airport Expansion The Cape Coast Airport Expansion is an important development project in Ghana's central region that aims to improve the airport's infrastructure and services. This project exemplifies the country's broader attempts to increase regional connections and spur economic development in Ghana's central region. The Cape Coast Airport is an important transportation hub for the region, and its expansion is critical for supporting rising passenger traffic, cargo services, and encouraging the area's economic growth. The expansion project includes the construction of a new terminal building, more aircraft apron space, and other modern amenities to increase airport capacity and improve the passenger experience. This development is consistent with the government's goals of improving regional connectivity, attracting investments, boosting tourism, and making it easier to transfer commodities to and from the central region. The Cape Coast Airport Expansion Project demonstrates Ghana's commitment to regional development, job creation, and transportation service improvement. It expands prospects for trade, investment, and tourism in the central region, contributing to the region's economic development and connectivity. 11. The Bonkra Inland Port The Bonkra Inland Port in Ghana is a major logistics and transportation project strategically located in the Ashanti region. This development plan aims to build a cutting-edge inland port facility that will be critical to the country's overall efforts to boost commerce and transportation operations. The Bonkra Inland Port is intended to improve the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of import and export operations by easing the movement of commodities and reducing congestion at Ghana's seaports. The project entails the development of a variety of facilities, including container handling equipment, warehouses, customs facilities, and modern transportation infrastructure. These developments greatly improve the country's logistical capability, allowing for the smooth and efficient transit of commodities between the Bonkra Inland Port and the major seaports. Ghana's dedication to increasing trade facilitation, regional economic development, and improving the competitiveness of its transportation and logistics sector is exemplified by this inland port project. It also contributes to the government's goal of establishing Ghana as a regional logistics and commercial hub, attracting investments and providing job opportunities, all while promoting economic development in the Ashanti region and beyond. 10. The Kamasi Paga Railway The Kamasi Paga Railway is a revolutionary transportation project in Ghana that aims to improve the country's rail network by connecting the Ashanti region's Kamasi to the Upper East region's Paga, near the northern border with Burkina Faso. This railway expansion project is an important component of Ghana's larger infrastructure development aims, which include improving regional connectivity, economic growth, and the efficient transportation of products and people. The Kamasi Paga Railway project includes the building of new rail lines, the upgrade of existing rail infrastructure, and the installation of modern rail equipment and technology. This program has the potential to significantly improve the movement of goods, such as minerals, agricultural products, and other commodities, between Ghana's northern and southern areas, especially the port city of Kamazi. Furthermore, the railway will permit efficient and cost-effective passenger transit, providing an alternative mode of transportation that decreases road congestion and promotes environmental sustainability. The Kamasi Paga Railway demonstrates Ghana's dedication to improving its transportation infrastructure, promoting economic development, and enhancing regional connections. It is projected to generate economic growth, create jobs, and give the nation with a more sustainable and efficient transportation network. 
9. The Takarati Port Expansion The Takarati Port Expansion is a major maritime development project in Ghana, located in the country's western region. This extension project is critical to Ghana's goal of improving its maritime transportation capacity, stimulating trade, and promoting economic development. Takarati Port is ideally located along the Gulf of Guinea, making it a vital regional gateway for shipping, logistics, and trade. Takarati Port expansion entails the development of new berths, container handling facilities, and modern infrastructure to accommodate larger boats and improve cargo processing capacities. This extension not only enhances port capacity, but it also corresponds with the government's objective of turning Takarati into a major logistics and industrial hub. The project promotes economic growth by attracting investments, promoting international trade, and providing job opportunities. Furthermore, it is critical to Ghana's economic diversification and efforts to minimize reliance on traditional sectors, such as agriculture and mining. The Takarati port expansion demonstrates Ghana's commitment to modernizing its ports and transportation facilities to meet the needs of a rising economy, establishing the country as a key player in regional trade and logistics. 8. The Tema Port Expansion The Tema Port Expansion is a game-changing marine infrastructure project in Ghana, conveniently placed near the capital, Accra. This expansion program is a critical step in the government's attempts to improve port infrastructure, increase logistics and trade, and promote economic growth. The Tema Port is Ghana's largest and busiest seaport, acting as a vital hub for goods import and export, and the development intends to fulfill rising demand for maritime transportation. The Tema Port expansion project includes the development of new berths, cargo handling facilities, and logistics spaces, among other things. This construction is critical for boosting the port's capacity to handle larger vessels, making it more efficient for cargo movement, both domestically and internationally. Furthermore, the development is consistent with the government's strategic goals of transforming Tema into a regional logistics and industrial hub, attracting investments, encouraging commerce, and providing job opportunities. Ghana's dedication to updating its ports and transportation infrastructure to meet the demands of a developing economy is exemplified by the Tema port expansion. It strengthens the country's position as a vital actor in regional trade and logistics, hence promoting economic development and job creation. 7. The Ghana National Petroleum Corporation Petrochemical Complex The Ghana National Petroleum Corporation Petrochemical Complex, located in Ghana's western region, is a historic industrial development project. This complex represents a big step forward in the country's efforts to diversify its economy and industrialize. The Ghana National Petroleum Corporation complex is dedicated to establishing a state-of-the-art petrochemical complex by exploiting Ghana's rich natural resources, particularly in the oil and gas sector. The Ghana National Petroleum Corporation petrochemical complex will include the development of a refinery, petrochemical plants, storage infrastructure, and other related facilities. This effort is critical for increasing the value of the country's oil and gas resources by converting crude oil and natural gas into a variety of downstream petrochemical products. It helps the country's economic development by reducing dependency on imported petroleum products, providing jobs, and promoting industrial expansion. The project demonstrates Ghana's commitment to utilizing its hydrocarbon resources for internal consumption and export, which is consistent with the government's broader goals of economic diversification and value addition. It also strengthens Ghana's position as a regional petrochemical manufacturing base, attracting investors and promoting technological improvement in the energy industry. 6. The Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation the Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation is a significant Ghanaian effort aiming at utilizing the country's large bauxite deposits for economic development and industrialization. Ghana has significant bauxite deposits, and the Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation was founded to manage the development of the bauxite industry from mining and refining to aluminum product production. The corporation's goal is to develop a value chain that does more than just add value to bauxite resources. 
Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation's work includes bauxite mining operations, alumina refinery construction, and the establishment of aluminum smelting facilities. The firm hopes to lessen Ghana's reliance on raw material exports by turning bauxite into alumina and aluminum adding value to the country's mineral resources and expanding its participation in the global aluminum market. This effort is consistent with Ghana's objective to diversify its economy, lessen its reliance on traditional sectors such as agriculture and mining, and promote investment in the industrial and manufacturing sectors. The efforts of the Ghana Integrated Aluminium Development Corporation are crucial in attaining sustainable development and establishing Ghana as a leading participant in the aluminum industry, attracting investments, creating jobs, and stimulating economic development. 5. The Kumasi Industrial Park Development The Kumasi Industrial Park Development is a key project in Ghana that aims to promote industrial growth and economic development in the Ashanti region particularly in Kumasi. This industrial park is intended to foster the growth of firms, manufacturers, and industrial activity. It is consistent with Ghana's overall aim of diversifying its economy, promoting industry, and creating job opportunities. The Kumasi Industrial Park has a wide range of industrial facilities and infrastructure, such as factories, warehouses, logistics areas, and transportation networks. This initiative intends to attract investments, encourage manufacturing operations, and improve commodities production and processing. The initiative not only supports the expansion of local enterprises, but also encourages foreign direct investment, job creation, and the development of a healthy industrial ecosystem by creating an environment suitable to industrial activity. It demonstrates Ghana's commitment to encouraging economic diversification, regional development, and industrialization with the Ashanti region serving as a focus for manufacturing and industrial operations, while contributing to the country's overall economic progress and prosperity. 4. The Takaradi Industrial Park Development The Takaradi Industrial Park Development is a critical project in Ghana, notably in the western region city of Takaradi. This project is crucial to the country's larger attempts to boost industrial growth and economic development, particularly in the western region, which is rich in natural resources. Takaradi Industrial Park is intended to attract firms and investments by providing a conducive environment for various industrial operations. The industrial park's development includes the construction of various industrial facilities, such as factories, warehouses, and logistics regions, as well as the establishment of transportation networks and utilities. This holistic approach not only fosters local industry growth, but also foreign direct investment and employment creation. The industrial park is perfectly located to capitalize on the region's resources, particularly those related to oil and gas, mining, and agriculture. It is consistent with Ghana's desire to diversify its economy and promote industry, with the western region becoming an important center for manufacturing and industrial operations. The Takaradi Industrial Park progress exemplifies the country's ambition to foster industrial expansion, stimulate investment, and ultimately contribute to Ghana's economic progress and prosperity. 3. The Tema Industrial Park Development The Tema Industrial Park Development is a critical project in Ghana, located near the country's capital, Accra. This effort demonstrates Ghana's dedication to promoting industrial expansion, economic development, and job creation. The Tema Industrial Park is intended to attract both domestic and foreign investment by providing a conducive environment for a wide range of industrial operations. The development of the industrial park comprises the construction of industrial facilities, warehouses, logistics spaces, and transportation networks. This holistic approach not only helps local industries but also stimulates foreign direct investment, so boosting growth in a variety of areas such as manufacturing, logistics, and trade. The Tema Industrial Park's strategic location near the country's largest and busiest seaport adds to its allure for firms and investors seeking to capitalize on the region's connectivity and trade prospects. The Tema Industrial Park development demonstrates Ghana's dedication to industrialization, economic diversification, and job creation, transforming the Tema region into a bustling for industrial operations 
in considerably contributing to the country's economic progress and prosperity. 2. Eastern and Western Railways Rehabilitation Eastern and Western Railways Rehabilitation is a substantial infrastructure development program aiming at improving and modernizing railway lines in a specific country or geographical area's eastern and western sections. Such rehabilitation activities are frequently conducted to address a wide range of difficulties and needs, such as the need for safer, more efficient, and environmentally friendly transportation options. These programs include a number of critical components. Projects in the Eastern Railway Rehabilitation may include the renovation and expansion of existing train lines, stations, and other infrastructure, upgrades to tracks, bridges, signaling systems, and electrification may be required. It may also entail the construction of high-speed rail tracks to improve connectivity and minimize travel times between key cities and areas in the country's east. Furthermore, rehabilitation works are frequently aimed at making railway traffic more ecologically friendly by encouraging the use of greener energy sources and lowering emissions. Furthermore, increasing passenger amenities such as safety, comfort, and accessibility is often a priority since it encourages more people to select trains as a mode of transportation, reducing traffic congestion, and boosting economic development in the region. 1. The Accra SkyTrain the Accra SkyTrain is a proposed mass transit system that attempts to meet Accra, Ghana's capital city's expanding transportation difficulties. The project envisions the building of an elevated train network over the existing road infrastructure, which is projected to relieve traffic congestion, reduce air pollution, and offer residents and visitors with a speedier and more efficient mode of public transportation. This project is part of a larger endeavor to update and upgrade the city's transportation infrastructure in order to satisfy the demands of a rapidly urbanizing population. The Accra SkyTrain project has numerous components, such as the construction of elevated rail tracks, stations, and rolling stock trains. The system is intended to service numerous routes throughout Accra, providing commuters with an economical and convenient form of transportation. One of the primary benefits of this system is its ability to dramatically cut travel times and congestion, making it an appealing alternative to traditional road-based transit options. Furthermore, the elevated form of the railway can help reduce interruption to existing road networks during construction, and it has the potential to contribute to urban growth by boosting connectivity and accessibility to diverse parts of the city. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a sub to the channel so more people can see this.